colors of the snake. Look at that. Oh. 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 Okay. And that body, Aaron, this is Aaron the snake. Dingo here, I'm in Limpopo, South Africa. Look at this, guys. It's a massive baobab tree. That's how you know we're in Africa. And we're at SA Venom Supplies today with my mate, Beric. And we're gonna be milking some snakes. Oh! Oh! Whoa! A Gaboon Viper. All right, now there's a snake I'm terrified about. It's this one here. I've got them, guys. But I don't have ones like this. This is the Puff Adder. But this Puff Adder comes all the way from North Africa. We're talking Togo. And Sweet Mother McCree, they are tougher than woodpecker lips. They are the biggest Puff Adders you find in the world. With attitude. Barrett's got 1,500 snakes he milks every month. And the Puff Adder is the one that he's always told me, be careful of these Togo Puff Adders. No, I'm scared of them because they've got attitude and they're big and strong. Now, if this man says he's scared of snake my chutney tunnels going oh, guys how's the size of this puffetta look at it it's mammoth jeez oh no ways now what we're doing is we're checking the yield how much venom comes out in a bite so we're not milking it we're not pushing extra one bite from the snake we look how much look how much venom's in that thing Beric, these are terrifying snakes look look at the length of the snake guys that is a puff adder puff adder is the ones we get where we live are half the size look at the size of this puff adder and those fangs and the attitude that's what people don't understand the attitude of this don't get puff adders from north africa it's just not worth it Okay, now the reason we're looking at the yields of venom is often when someone's been by, let's say a feather or gaboon bark, the doctors don't know how many ampules of, or vials of antivenom to give the person. So they're doing studies now. A general puff adder bite is going to give you so many mils of venom that equates to six vials of the anti venom because what happens in hospitals sometimes is people only get given half a vial or one vial or two vials, they end up dying. Next snake, one of my favorites in the world, the West African banded cobra. Ours at home, fasty, fasty, fasty. Let's see what this one's like. It's big. Oh, how cool was that? Hello, big boy. Look at the colors of the snake, guys. Look at the bands on them. I tell you what, one of my favorite snakes in all the world, these guys. And they get big. Look at that super big snake. All right, here we go. Let's milk him here. Come on. Woo! He's biting down. He's got no problem. He's still biting down. And this is what the forest cobras do, the king cobras as well. They'll bite and they'll just keep walking. Bah, bah, bah. Look at him back, he's still biting down, he's still biting down. There we go, hello big boy. Isn't he magnificent? Look at that yellow coloration in their mouth and he's ready to go again. But one of the prettiest snakes you see anywhere in Africa, how's that? Now guys, Beric's teaching me things today. He's using a noose technique to neck the snake. He's given me a noose, but I'm not very good at it, especially with cobras. Next snake up, which snake we got? Snouted cobra. Snouted cobras. Juice! Monster! Look at this. Look at the color. Massive snake. Oh, there we go. Look at that, eh? Just one big bite. Boosh, bite down. My gosh. Okay, this is also predominantly neurotoxic, but also it's got cytotoxic venoms as well. And uh, as you can see, quite a good yield. Yeah. So it's gonna kill you really fast with the neurotoxic stuff. Yeah. And it's gonna hurt as well if you do survive it. Look at this color. I've never seen a snouty so pretty. Look at that. It's one of the most beautiful snouties I've ever seen anywhere in the world. How's that? And thick, fat as mud. Okay, now it's not just venomous snakes here, it's the world's deadliest scorpions as well. And Beric and Alex and the team, they milk them to produce anti-venom in case you get stung by the world's deadliest scorpion. The most venomous scorpion in the world, the Death Stalker. Here it is here. And look at that tiny pincers and a big stinger. Look over there, look at that stinger. Now, what you'll see is happening here. Right on the end of the stinger there, there's a drop of venom. So what's happening is we're putting it in there, there's a little bit of electrodes used, and then the venom comes out. And it's not hurting the animal at all, but it's such a small little drop. How many drops do you want to get from something like this? One drop and then one drop, that's it. The death stalker. All right, guys, now, for those of you worrying about the electrodes, right now, Lance is going to show us, I've wet them extra. I'm going to do it on your finger. Oh my gosh. Is it on? On. Put it on my tongue. Bring your tongue down. Come closer. 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 Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, it's not that bad. He felt it on his tongue. Didn't feel it on his finger. 
Now, I'm super pumped about this one here. This here is a Egyptian Cobra, but it's the West African locality. I've never seen one before. Um, how's he react, Derek? Is he gonna fly out? They're quite cheeky. Just take it easy, slow, always slow. So when a man with 1,500 snakes tells me it can be quite cheeky, you listen. 100% right, you listen, okay. Oh! That's okay, baby. Look at the face of the snake. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that face there. And the body. It's orange. It's an orange snake. Don't poo on me, my boy. I'm going to swap you over here. That is one of the scariest looking faces I've ever seen on a cobra. And he just looks mean and he means business. But how's, before I get onto the venom, how's this coloration here? Alex, you got the best job in the world, my man. Hey? Yeah, thank you. Getting to work with these snakes, yeah. Here we go. Oh, good boy. Hasn't bitten yet. There we go, there's a, one little thing in, and there we go. There's the venom coming down. Isn't that an incredible snake? Beric's family has been doing this now for three generations. Beric's dad started milking antivenom how long ago, Beric? 1961. 1961 he started doing this, and then Beric's been doing it now for how many years? 1980. 1980, 42 years, guys, of milking snakes like this. And then his son has come through now, and Ross is also milking snakes now. Three generations of saving people's lives, that's what it is. It's now it's time for me to milk this snake for its venom. Woo! Woo! No worry, it's just an egg eater. No venom, no teeth. I love this snake. All right, we've come outside for the big guns. Forest cobra. These here are one of my favorite cobras in the world, but one of the schizo ones you've ever seen ever. So what's gonna happen? Barry's gonna lose him, I'm gonna milk him. But they live outside. It's a hot day, guys. It's as hot as a camel's <coughs> truck. So this forest, he's gonna be warm. Oh my sweet lord. Look at that, look at that snake. He's like Shadow and Storm at home. He's got that same skull mark on the back of his head. Holy Jesus. Okay. Oh, there we go. Guys, as the size, this is the biggest true cobra you find anywhere in the world. And look at the mouth. Look at that. Look at that. He just wants to bite. Look at him. He's like a king cobra. Look at the size. This is why they're the biggest true cobra in the world. There's venom dripping down my fingers there. How's that? We're going to be sneezing the bugly just now from that. Look at that venom. Oh my gosh. The power coming down. Look at that. Look, it's just still, it's dripping out. And some of it's already on my hand from earlier. Oh, I tell you what, if this snake bites you, how are you going to get him off? Now you've got to see this problem. This is a potent snake. Now look at that body. Look how thick that body is, guys. That's uh, you do, what people don't understand when you're watching on camera is you don't understand the power of a snake like this. Look, I can't even get this out. You do the same. Just let him go. Yeah, just hold the glass and then. Oh my gosh, he just holds on forever, this guy. Okay, release and don't come up with yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Massive forest cobra. That's the biggest forest cobra I've ever seen in my life. And look at all that venom there. This venom will knock you on your butt. Now, we've left the best till last. It's the most infamous snake in the world. In my opinion, Beric, I don't know your opinion, the most yeah. dangerous snake in the world. And you're telling me something about it. This is, it's a black mamba, right? And this is the craziest one we have on the premises. He's absolutely psycho. And we'll see. <laughs> there he is there. The stripes. Yeah, look at those stripes, guys. That's from Tanzania. I tell you what, every single time, Beric's been working with Mambas for 40 years. I've been working with him for probably 25 years, but every time you work with a Mamba, you're on your toes. Ooh, on your tippy toes. Like a midget at your arnold, right? Ooh, ooh, this snake is on fire, and it's warm today. It's super warm today. Over the head again. I tell you what, this guy, he is ready to go. The black mamba, now his venom is gonna be see-through. It's gonna be transparent. Here we go, let's go. And they never have a problem biting. Look at, look at how much he's given. Look at the bottom of the glass there. One bite from a black mamba, which in my opinion is one of the quick, I don't know if you found it, Beric, but one of the quickest acting venoms of any snake in the world. Very quick. So I found like, I've got inland taipans, which are the world's most toxic venomous snake, right? But often to kill a rat or something, that taipan will take two, three minutes. Whereas these guys here, instantaneous. it's incredible how quick acting. When I was bitten by a black mamba back in 2003, 
within 10 minutes, couldn't walk, couldn't talk, uh, couldn't breathe. I was intubated within 12 minutes, woke yeah. up nine hours later in ICU. Guys, known as the kiss of death. I wanna just show you fangs here quickly. So do you know this snake is loaded? How's that? They're the fangs of the black mamba. Doesn't hurt it, it's just lifting up that front scale over there. The black mamba, and that's where we're gonna end off. Derek, thank you so much for having us here. Pleasure. And for showing us Pleasure. these incredible snakes, and he's doing such great work. Guys, put your comments down below. Uh, support these guys as much as possible, please. There has not been one vial of South African polyvalent antivenom made in this country since 1961 that has not had venom from snakes from this farm. In it. So thank you for all of your help, Alex and your team as well. What an experience being here, helping them milk snakes for science. Absolute legendary, thank you, Derek. See you next time, bingo out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our other playlists for lots of other content.